Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today I'm bringing you a deck profile for Unchained. It's been released in the new uh, section pack and I'm pretty happy that it's been added to this game. I was looking for this deck even though I think it's not performing as well as I was hoping to, but let's talk about this later. First of all, let's talk about the deck profile. First of all, let's talk about Entraps, so what is needed? Uh, Free Maxi, Free Ash Blossom, because this the, this game hates us and wants us to play some horrible uh, Entrap. Free Infinite Impermanence, because it's the best Entrap that uh, we have. And uh, uh, Chocolate Buy and one Cursed Out Designator, because uh, yeah, it's uh, Maxi, Maxi is a thing and we need to deal with it. Now let's talk about the main, main engine. Free to get from the underworld, your main one card combo, and one Finnish Rainy Warrior that is uh, your main target for a tour guide. So you can just normal summon tour guide, summon uh, a Finnish Rainy Warrior, and go into Yama for uh, following up with the combo. Then with the Unchained package, free Arua, one Rakia, one Sarama, free Sharvara, one Shay uh, Shayama and one abom uh, Abominable and Chain Soul. Um, your main combo enabler are Arua and uh, Sharvara, because they are the one that uh, you can special summon from your hand by just by destroying one fin monster you control or one face down card you control. Uh, Arua can only uh, done during your turn, Sharvara is a quick effect, which is really important because it allows you to dodge some nasty effect from your opponent. Arua locks you into field only when you activate the, the effect. So if you decide to activate the effect of Arua, you can um, you cannot special summon anything past that except the field monster. For Shervara, it's different because you lock into field as long as this card remains face up on the field. So uh, you can just uh, activate the effect, uh, link it away, or access it away, and then you're free to go with uh, your non-fin non master. Then you, we have one Rekea, that is your other semi-common enabler, because Rekea, technically Rekea plus uh, uh, a trap uh, or a uh, uh, prison uh, it's your well prison it's a trap so like a uh, trap is um, is compost here but you it's uh, less good uh, and it can play it's less good but it can play better under maxi so there are some opinion that maybe in this uh, format since uh, uh, maxi is a real thing uh, you should prior uh, prioritize the rakea over other stuff but your normal summon is already a little bit tight, so I don't know if it's worth it, but it's a thing that we can discuss later. Then one uh, Srama. Srama has the effect uh, that ca you can just target one uh, uh, Unchained card in your graveyard, set it, uh, and then destroy one uh, card you control. So you can just reset your trap, uh, set your monster that still have uh, to activate the effect, uh, and then go from that. Uh, obviously, you can set uh, your link monster. I hope you. I don't have to explain it, but it's better to do it. Lastly, we have one Shayama that is your main uh, um, extender because when this card, if this card is in your graveyard, you can uh, destroy one card you control and special summon this card, then it goes on the bottom if it leaves the field. And it has a second effect that you can target uh, one card you control, destroy it, uh, and then you can uh, destroy one spell trap card on the field. Uh, you don't have to destroy a spell trap card on the field uh, when you activate this effect, you can just decide to just pop one of your cards to extend or bring, uh, bring up another body, which comes really handy during your main combo line. And lastly, one Abominable Unchained Soul, which is, it's okay because uh, you want to bring this card, since it's a good interruption when it's special summoned, uh, you can uh, uh, discard uh, one card from your hand and pop a card on the field, and uh, on target. Then uh, it has other two, two effects, that one, it can only be special summoned once, so 
if it's special summon this card, the turn it can be special summon uh, again. And then if this card is destroyed by Battle of a Care Effect during your uh, end phase, you can special summon back this card. Notably, you can do it uh, on the same turn that you special summoned before. It's fine. Uh, sometimes it came up, sometimes not. Uh, it depends on the situ situation. Last effect, if a card gets destroyed while well, this card is in your hand, you can just special summon this card from your hand. Pretty good, it's a good extender, it's not a real brick, brick because you can just uh, uh, special summon this card from your hand and pop a card on the field, pretty good. And sometimes it can be even because it's a 3k, 3k body, so yeah, run it, but nev don't run it more than once. Uh, the main reason uh, let's talk about the other Handshake card first, uh, Free Abom Abominable Prison, which is just your third uh, Omni Search. You can uh, just uh, add one Unchained card from your deck to your hand, and if this set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one Unchained monster from your deck, which is the same effect that uh, you, your trap card has. Have. Uh, your Make trap that are two. I decide to round two with two, but feel free to change this ratio. Uh, so two escape. Uh, you can target one unchained monster and one card on the field and destroy both uh, target. And if this card, is, if this set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one unchained monster from your deck. And the other one is one two abominable chamber from the unchained. You can just special summon one and save from your hand or graveyard, non target, so this is really good since you never lose the target. And then uh, when this card is, uh, this set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one and save monster from your deck. Um, usually you just want to run maybe three escape and two chamber, or three chamber and one two escape. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, you can decide what to do. I don't think you can. You need to do to run free. Two and two is fine, even because it's searchable with your uh, um, with your prison. M important. Uh, the trap can only special summon from your uh, deck while your uh, twist, um, Arua, Rakea, and Sarama can only spe can special summon from your uh, deck and from your hand. So uh, keep it in mind because sometimes uh, since this uh, Shiyama is a prick, sometimes it's stuck on your hand, and so the only way, only way to bring it out is from uh, the effect of the small uh, guys. Uh, then let's talk about the DDD package. I think this is still worth running it, uh, even if uh, India is a least less good than the TCG. So let's talk about it. It is free. Uh, dark contact with the gate. One DDD Vice King Requiem and uh, one uh, DDD Devisor King uh, Deus Machinex. Uh, what does it give? So, their contact can bring out uh, um, DDD Vice King Requiem from your hand, from your deck to your hand. Vice Requiem has an effect that when it is on the scale, you can pop one uh, their contact uh, on your field, special summon itself. And uh, special summon itself and increase or decrease the level by one. This is uh, an influent, an influent in this case. The other effect is that uh, um, when uh, a monster that is made uh, using this card as a material gains the following effect you can target one card on the field, destroy it, and then sh shuffle a um, dark contract from your graveyard and gain 1000 life points. This is really good because not only provides a disruption, uh, sometimes it came handy, but it can pop your set traps and it allows you to just extend and move on with your uh, uh, with your combo. Um, it's less good here because Maxi is something and this deck has a really bad matchup into Maxi. But I think it's still worth even because it allows you not only to go into the Visor King Machinex, but even uh, into uh, Zeus to just port, uh, port wipe the game, port the, game, the field. So yeah, run it. Uh, uh, you can decide to play more and trap, a board breaker. You, c you choose. It's uh, good even because it's since it, they are both, it's um, Machinex is a fiend, uh, you can just uh, combo off uh, and make your... Uh, um, Yama, but it's fine. Decide what to do. 
Lastly, uh, I decided to go with triple, two copies of Triple Taxi Talents because you don't need three and this card is really good, especially in today's Snake Eye matchup and one part of Prosperity because you need consistency, so um, run it, you, there's no reason for not run it. Main day and Exelec, um, I decided to go with uh, one, the, the Stone King uh, Darius, uh, just because uh, you can make it with two level 3 monsters, so you can basically make it with Tour Guide, and it allows you to go into My Shinex for maybe an extra interruption, or go into a big Zeus play, which is a Zeus uh, with uh, Maxinex, uh, Maxinex under it, that is something like uh, a formative Zeus, which is pretty good, and not only it really useful because uh, it has an effect that uh, during damage calculation you can detach one material from this card, it can be destroyed by battle, in this case you destroy the monster that uh, this card attacked and the opponent gets uh, um, 500 damage, uh, damage. So yeah, it can destroy, it can uh, save itself, it can make you can make a Zeus on top of it. Uh, I think it's fine, you can run it, you can play something else, so you, you decide, it's how you like to play it. I like to play this card, so go, go into it. Two, the, the way, way Viking Caesar, uh, because you can make this card, and this card is by itself to interruption, which is, uh, this is an interruption that when your opponent activates a spell trap or effect monster that uh, includes the effect of special summon, uh, a monster, you can detach one material and negate it activation and destroy this card and then you can make two, one other monster and this card gain uh, 1800 life uh, attack, yeah, 1800 uh, attack. So pretty good and it can uh, provide a lot of interruption. The opponent want to activate uh, Origin? No. They want to activate uh, uh, the effect of Ash? No. Pretty, pretty good, pretty consistent, so run it, and I think you need two. Most additionally, it has an additional effect that uh, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a Dark Contact from your deck to your hand. So if you still didn't activate uh, your Dark Contact with the gate, you can add this card, at the um, Requiem, and then go with the Divisor King uh, on, on the follow-up turn, which is still pretty good, I will, still pretty good, I would say. Then Zeus, because you have Exceed and you can make it pretty easily. And Machinix, because I already explained the reason why. Then I went with One Item Phoenix, because sometimes you want to have that card to uh, pop a card on the field. And since this card is a Fiend, you can make it under Fiend Lock. Run it, you can decide to run um, Nightmare Griffon. I don't think it's really necessary, but it's good uh, because you can basically make. Uh, Nightmare uh, Griffon uh, under the lock, so your opponent cannot uh, uh, activate the effect of special summon monster. I don't have it, so I decided to not run it and not craft it, but it's fine, you can play it. Two Unchained Solo Rage, because your main deck, this your main interruption, this card has two effects. First of all, you can make it only with the Unchained Soul monster, so you can make it only with uh, your Shervara, your Shayama, a bomb, or your ya uh, Yama, or obviously um, Anguish, because it's still an Unchained Soul, uh, uh, unch uh, unch soul monster. It has two main effects, that during the opening turn you can target one special summon uh, a monster, make a link, uh, uh, make a link of, uh, link it away for a dark link monster, and and the king monster. So your main target usually for make this card is a uh, nightmare unicorn because uh, dark uh, dark monster. You can make uh, a macracker because it, this card is generic. So if you need it, sometimes you can make this card. Or if you somehow go against another fiend monster like labyrinth, uh, another unchained, burning abyss, why not? Uh, you can make unchained solo of Yama which is still pretty good, or obviously uh, Unchained Soul of Rage. Or Underworld Goddess, because this card is still... Uh, no, you can make Goddess because it's a uh, uh, light monster, so scrap it, you can make it. 
the other effect is when this card is destroyed, uh, as uh, is destroyed, you can just add back one free mortar from your grave to your hand, which is really handy because it allows you to recycle resources and just help you a lot with the grind with the grind game. Another card. Let's go with Muckracker with the, from the Underworld, which you, this card is generic. You cannot link someone with this card using this card as material. And the, um, if a monster would be destroyed, you can tribute another uh, Fiend monster instead to save it. And you can just uh, target one Fiend on, the, on your graveyard. This card a card and special summon uh, that, uh, um, that Fiend monster. It's good, it's generic, uh, and this card allows you to go with the uh, Nightmare Griffon play. I don't have it, and I don't want to craft it, craft it, so it's fine, you can just not play. But it allows you to go into some interesting play. Unchained Soul of uh, Lord of Yama. New card, you can make it with two level free, uh, two fiend master, with Tour Guide and Rhino are two fiend master. And when this card is special summon, you can add one Unchained Master from your deck. Or graveyard, and when a card uh, you control is destroyed while well, discarding the graveyard, you can banish this card, special summon one fiend monster from your graveyard, and then you can pop a card. You don't need to pop it, you can just decide to revive it, and well, you can just decide to revive it, which sometimes you do it because you want to revive your rage. And it's really good because if somehow they manage to outrage during in combat, you can just uh, banish. Uh, Yama and um, special summon rage back and you still have the, your interruption. That's my unicorn because it's a fiend uh, dark monster. Unchasel of Anguish, it's a level uh, link, link free monster and you can make it uh, uh, like rage with uh, at least one unchasel monster. And it has a same similar effect of uh, rage but only during your turn so you can link uh, link summon for a dark link monster using one opponent monster. Uh, one opponent monster. Which is good, and it still has the effect that uh, when it's destroyed, you can just add back one uh, fin monster. You don't need to run more than uh, uh, more than one usually. Sometimes there are moments when you need, might want to uh, have the second one, but realistically speaking, you just need one. Then one abominable and chainsaw. Your probably your main link for so this card can win you crying game, especially. After your opponent uses a lot of resources, if a card is destroyed by a card effect, uh, you can just destroy one card on the field. If another monster is destroyed by a card effect, you can just uh, destroy, target one card on the field and destroy it. And during the end phase, you can destroy one card, uh, attack one card on the field and destroy. So this card by itself is at least three pops, and you can only use each asset once per turn. Pretty, really, pretty good. You can need, you need it in the grind game, so I think uh, there's no need, no need for just uh, play more and just play one. And lastly, uh, Underworld Goddess. This, uh, this deck cannot deal with Tower Monster, and this is your only out for to Tower Monster. Run it, it's still good, and the fact that uh, it's uh, unaffected by things that do not target, it can come re really handy. Let's talk about why this deck by itself is less good than what I was expecting, especially coming from the TCG. I played this deck at last YCS Bologna, and I had a lot of fun playing this deck, but in TCG we don't have Maxi. In Master Duel we have Maxi, and this changed a lot for what this deck can accomplish. Because let's start, let's think that you start with your main combo, that is uh, uh, Arua plus one of the two traps. By itself, if you set trap and you activate uh, Arua, if your opponent activates Maxi at this point, uh, you're fucked. You're fucked because the only way to just put something meaningful on the board at this point is just to special summon Arua, activate the trap card and bring Rakea on the field. This is because during your opponent's turn you can activate Rakea, target Arua, pop, uh, pop Arua and bring out uh, um, Abominable and Chainsaw to just have a pop. But this is why this is why a card like uh, Unchainsaw of Disaster might be interesting to play right now because it's a better interruption respect of um, um, Abominable and Chainsaw, so you, 
and in that situation with Maxi, you can just pop Rakea with the Rakea pop Arua. Arua effect bring out sort of disaster. So disaster link away the monster into rage. Rage link another one into your uh, unicorn, uh, Yama, Mukraker, whatever you need at that point. And by itself, it's two interruptions. So in Master Duo, I think there's a merit of running uh, Unchained Sort of Disaster. I decide not to run it, uh, but it's something that I'm really considered uh, to run just for because Maxi exists. And that is the reason why I think uh, um, Rakea should be played is just because by doing Rake your combo with normal Summon Rakea, if your opponent activates Maxi to on the activation of uh, Escape, it just draws one and you still have your uh, interruption for the follow up turn. So, yeah. I think uh, there are reasons why you should rethink how this deck works, and this is why the first thing we should think about cutting might be the DDD package, because it's four slot and it's, uh, it's really a lot of slot. But on the upside, on the other side, is that you don't really want to have too many normal summon in this deck, uh, because your main normal summon is to get from the underworld and sometimes Sarama, but if you open, open Sarama, it's not that good. So yeah, I think this deck for really do something in Master Duel need to be rethought how it worked and how it was uh, played in this TCG, in this TCG, TCG. I think it has a lot of potential because the interruption that TK brings on the field are something really sticky and the monsters are really sticky, really a lot of grind game, uh, can bring a lot of racers, but it really needs something and really needs to be restructured to accomplish more. The good thing about this deck, it has one of the best matchup into Labyrinth, so if Labyrinth became something again in Master Duel, this deck demolished Labyrinth. It, Labyrinth doesn't have a real way to deal with this deck, just because all their interruption destroys, Big Lady destroys, uh, a lot of things destroy, uh, the Dogmatica package destroys, so everything pops, everything brings back resources, so you can just keep, gr keep grinding. And this deck can actually play a lot a lot under Skill Drain, which is the main floodgate that Labyrinth plays. And that's an uh, in-game out to something like uh, Summon Limit, uh, um, there can be only one, goes and match, uh, thanks to Escape, so you can just pop the, those cards. Uh, so yeah, well, against a lot of floodgate deck and against a lot of uh, Labyrinth type of deck, this deck can really shine. It can not shine a lot against something like a snake guy if it goes first though, and do all the combo without any interruption so this is why i think it needs to play more or board breaker or hand trap something really and uh, turn ending like nibiru or something else but let's see uh, the drinking is, is evolving the format is evolving and this is just the first draft so feel free to change it feel free to do whatever you want with this deck also i kind of decide not to Add is waiting of the unchained, which is just when you, you link someone unchain monster, you can just uh, pop one card on the field, and when said card is destroyed, you can special summon one unchained monster from your deck. I don't think it's needed. You can just decide to run it, uh, even because you don't want to open too many cards that do the same thing over and over. I think it's fine uh, just having this ratio. So. For me, it's everything. Tell me if you like this uh, deck profile and like and subscribe and see, see you at the next uh, video. Bye bye.